to discuss about one of the critical event which is CSO. CSO stands for cash and stocks options. So this particular corporate action event which comes under mandatory with mandatory with choice corporate actions, right? Mandatory with choice corporate actions. Let me decode first. C stands for cash. Yes stands for stocks and women's options. So here we are talking about option C. When company announced dividend, then everyone will receive that dividend payout in cash and it's a mandatory event. See dividend, which is a mandatory event. But what if same company ask you to choose dividend option? So it means company is okay with two options. One is cash and another one is stocks. If I give this opportunity to you, let's say I'm going to give you 500 rupees to you, right? One option is I'll give you entire 500 to you if you want. Or second option is instead of 500, you can ask me shares. So I'll give that shares to you and I'll keep that 500 dividends with me. So it means now in this case, if you see, you will get a choice. You will get options to select or choose one options. And same company, same company offer this facility to their shareholders. If company want to utilize the dividend amounts for their, you know, uh, let's say, you know, any capital expenditures or maybe day to day expenditures or working capital, let's say requirement, if they have anything as such, company will come up with cash and stocks option plan. So it's an option. So it means company is not going to force to any shareholders as such. If shareholders want, they can participate in CSOs and subscribe shares if they want. Again, it's an option. We are talking about option. It means shareholders has no obligations like to, you know, participate in these options and all. It's just a voluntary options. But yes, how CSO works, we'll see that. Let's take the example. ABC Corporation current market price is 50 and that company announced dividends of rupees 5 per per shares 5 dollar per per shares and let's say you are rupees not dollar and you are holding 100 shares in your portfolio so it means you will receive 500 rupees dividends amount right uh, all right so you will receive dividends amount of 500 rupees so that becomes your dividends amount and CSO is part of dividends only. But what if, what if under option strategy or under options, if companies asking you to, you know, choose one option, one, which is dividend. If you want, choose it. Company will process dividends of 500s to you. If not, other option is current market share price is 50 and if you divide 500 divided by which is let's say 50 that becomes around 10 shares per per shares instead of 500 dividends amount company is okay with to reprocess of 10 shares to you whichever is you guys are agree or okay just choose that options then company will arrange that options accordingly or company will process the same benefits to you so if you see the process, this is process, which is something where investor has no obligations, but investor want stocks instead of cash dividends, then investor can purchase stocks instead of cash. So it means company will keep that cash dividends with company only and company will process stocks payments to the shareholders. So in this particular events, company will get, you know, uh, get the cash cash it means company will keep that stock uh, profits with company and company will utilize that cash for their you know different purposes and same way shareholders will receive stocks so they'll get additional shares in free of cost without paying single penny to back to the you know company so it's a benefit of shareholders that's how your cash and stocks options works i'm sure now you got the idea about how stocks options works in uh, you know corporate actions from a processing perspective in ca process cash and stocks we both process we both process at a time all right 
So this is basically communication that we receive through MT564 and even 67 as well. So this is basically comes under instructions management. Instructions management. Instructions, it means it's a choice where up to shareholders will choose that options and send it to the you know brokers. Basically, uh, you know, investors send the instructions to the brokers and brokers basically send that instructions to the registrar. Registrar take care of companies' corporate actions. And again, registrar and company, they work together and they decide how you know they have received options or choice instructions and all and they finalize it and send that notice to the custodian and brokers and finally brokers and custodians the process that benefits to the end investors so this is how your workflow works in corporate actions but yes cash and stock options that comes under your instructions management so instructions management set the deadlines for each and every event and even the process uh, that they all set up, I would say, events on the basis of MT564 documents and even MT565 uh, as well, 5 or MT564, MT567, right? Those are the notices basically, so which they refer and set up the instructions in the books of, well, let's say, you know, brokers or custodians or banks or funds and accordingly they process benefits to the uh, end user, so it means shareholders. All right, I hope now you got the idea about how cash and stocks options works. So now my question is to you guys, just, you know, uh, try to answer it because this question was asked in uh, Northern Trust interview, okay? Because Northern Trust, uh, Northern Trust is also in investments and uh, broking, you know, business. Uh, that question was asked to my one of the you know, students. The question was, how would you differentiate the question is note down this question how would you differentiate difference see it drip and cso cash and stocks uh, cash and stocks options how they are different right or why company will announce or question other way around why company will announce drip and cso drip and cso all right if let's say if you see if you see in question three it was like if you see if if condition is if if a drip and cso both are same then why company will announce two separate events two separate events there are the three questions which was asked in as i said northern trust interview but yeah you can try to answer if you're looking for interview preparations or let's say if you're a part of prime brokings or fund accounting business operations then i'm sure definitely you would also expect questions around it all right so these are the three questions you can try to answer first you can post your answer in comment section try it search those you know input or insights about all three questions in uh, on internet as well so spend little bit you know your time as well try to figure it out about drip and cso because i have explained about drip and also i have explained about cso cash and stock options and drip dividend reinvestment plan in both the cases investor is going to receive dividends as well as stocks but 
how those are different and even process wise or you know technically how those are different so you can differentiate that and if you see like you know if both are same then why company will come up with the two different events company will directly they'll announce CSO as a drip that's fine so why but they come up with a drip and CSO different different events all right try to answer this uh, you know these three questions in in the comment sections of video in next video or series definitely I'll pick up these questions and answer it and don't forget to click on bell icon button because you will get the notification of latest videos on all these you know uh, aspects in upcoming time we are going to discuss more and more insight about market and even technical terms core technical terms and all so subscribe uh, this channel and share this channel with other as well as a reference so let them also understand it all right i'll take a leave now if you're looking for any paid courses and trainings you can call us we'll uh, we are going to schedule trainings for you know fund accounting in the mid of january for upcoming you know interviews and all basically uh, that that will help you to prepare for uh, april you know drives or interviews as such if you are interested give me a call we have errand offers as well so we'll give you handsome discount